it's me. Hi, how are you doing? This video is a dollar store makeover. I'm quite excited about this episode because of the things I have from the dollar store. Doo -doo 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 -doo. These are freaking adorable. Three little dessert houses. <sighs> this one is like a little cupcake house. This one is a little dessert castle. Dessert castle. This one is a little ambiguous, but it's definitely dessert related. I love these so much. They are adorable. However, there's a lot of areas that could be improved Improved, so they are absolutely perfect for a makeover. I am so excited to paint on these. I've been holding on to them for a while, waiting for my opportunity to paint. Hopefully I have time to paint all of them. I really need to get started if I'm gonna achieve that. So let's get into painting my dessert structures. Alrighty, I'm gonna start with this ambiguous ice cream structure. It's adorable. However, very, very flawed. And you know how we feel about flaws around here. Flaws are strictly prohibited. This is a no flaw zone. That means you get out. I'm just kidding. But seriously, there's a lot wrong. This paint job is so messy and uneven in so many places. I don't even feel like counting. Aside from the craftsmanship issues, I actually like the design. The colors work well. It is very simple though. So I'm hoping to add add some detail and make it more interesting. To inspire my redesign, I started thinking about who? Who would live in such a house? And I couldn't help but notice the thousands of little eyes staring at me from the background. Okay, okay, I get it. One of you wants a house? All right, let's see who's gonna get a house today. Who wants it? Oh, geez, this should be Shelly's house as is. No, no, that's too easy. Then I see my stack of dessert cats. You know them. Harold, Jenny, Martin, Nikki. Their stacked nature reminds Reminds me of the stackedness of this house. Will they actually be able to fit inside of it? It's hard to say right now. Let's not worry about that. Grabbing them, and we're back at the table now. Hello, it's my big boy Jesso. Going to coat the whole thing. This will just make sure that my paint sticks really nicely. Once that's done, bringing in the boys and girls. I'm using my rainbow paintbrush. Mine. And I'm using my paint. Mine. Okay, that's obnoxious. Sorry. I'm gonna paint this first section of the house using my vanilla cake color. Color, which is just gonna be perfect because this is the Harold section of the house. Each cat is going to be represented in this design. Harold's got a lot of real estate here, but don't worry, we will make room for everyone else. For the next section, I'm using Pickle. This is gonna be the mint chocolate chip layer for Jenny, and I'm gonna keep the bottom just white. It's a neutral ground, it's for all of them. Also, I liked how the white base kinda looks like snow. In reality, it's frosting. Well, in reality, it's paint, but in actuality, it's frosting but in appearance it's snow. Of course. Moving up to the next layer, this one's gonna be for Martin. It's all you, sweetie. Starting with this cream colored center, and that is not my paint. It's an invader. <laughs> Adding some pink on one side, and then for some odd, unexplainable, inconceivable reason, I started using this mixed chocolate color, which was horrible and poopish. It's making me sick. So I promptly switched to the milk chocolate color in my set. Thank you. I no longer have to throw up. I guess I'll just swallow the vomit that just came up. That was unnecessarily graphic and I'm sorry. Moving to the top layer. Once again, I'm just going with white, but this is not another neutral space. This is fully about Nikki. Oh, come get it, girl. Now that I've got all the basic colors blocked in, I'm gonna start moving in with the details. I'm going with pink for the door since they all have pink inner ears. Also, I just like pink. And then, oh, this is too good. Harold is on the tube of paint that I'm gonna be using to do the Harold section. It's really just is too good. Using one of my dotting tools. Ah! Oh! The amount of joy I get from using aesthetic paint tools is just probably too much. I think there might be something wrong with me. Is there? No. I'm totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and paint on the waffle cone texture here. Why is that so satisfying? I don't know, but I really enjoy watching that, actually. I went back over the steps and painted them with a vanilla cake color, which was a little torn about. Did I just ruin everything? Time will tell. And look at this. Really getting into the fine details now. This is the finishing work that you don't get from the dollar store. My work is way higher value, at least $1.50. Finally, adding more of the fun details, which I have been looking forward to. It's the chocolate chips. It's the hot fudge topping. Gotta add the cookies to the cookies and cream, the cherry on top, and finally the sprinkles. <laughs> Now, 
now it's the final transformation time. Wow! I liked the design before, but I feel like it has so much more life and excitement now. Definitely a neater finish and a lot more detail. The cats are extremely grateful and excited about their custom designed house. The only problem is it's a little on the small side, but hey, it'll be nice and cozy for them. <gasps> Wait, I just noticed a critical mistake. I painted the pink on the right side when it should have been on the left. Oh my gosh. Well, that's gonna bother me. It's still cute though. Moving on to the next, I'm gonna work on this castle. I do love the shape of this one, but I feel like the colors are a bit bleh, especially for a castle. Like, why is it so dull? Once again, we have the same issues with the sloppiness. These hearts are breaking my heart. Neatness is out the window on this window. Shut the front door, look at this mess. Speaking of mess, you got paint under your fingernails, bro. So for the castle, I'm taking it back to my people. This one was a complete no-brainer. Okay, there's only one character of mine who's fit for a castle, and that's the Donut Queen, Queen of Donuts. The castle and her already look somewhat compatible, but let's take this up a notch. In fact, I wanted to take it up two notches. I took some clay, and I was hoping to form some sort of massive donut to attack attach it to the castle. I tried this and it looked like the dumbest thing on the planet. This is no better. That is just terrible. Is that even a donut? Then I start venturing off. Oh, okay. So it's a castle with a butt. <gasps> No! You know what? We're not doing that. Maybe I'll just leave it as it is. I think that's a good idea. Shake on some gesso, and I'm ready to paint. Let's look at our reference again. Hello, nice to see you. So the main part of the castle is going to be inspired by her hair, which I have definitely gotten to know very well. It's interesting how the Donut Queen is suddenly forcing herself into my videos recently. She was a forgotten character for a long time. I didn't even really set out to make this. There was really no other choice. I mean, it's a dessert castle. Obviously, it has to belong to the donut queen. Who else? Eustace? Imagine how crusty Eustace would look prancing around the castle. Well, there's the front onto the back. Clearly, the gradient of different colors involved many, many layers, lots of blending. It was quite an involved process, but I really just had to do it, okay? I was forced to. She told me to. The other characters, they all gave me complete creative freedom, but the donut queen, she told me exactly how she wanted her castle designed, and it could only be that. So, if you don't like this design, take it up with her. I'm pretty sure she won't care about your opinion anyway. The Donut Queen design does have a fair amount of gold in it, so I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> Explosive painteria. Stupid. And I'm gonna use this to just accent the door and the window, and then I added a painted donut to the front of the castle, you know, instead of this atrocity. Painted in the hearts, which honestly don't really belong, but I had to. They were there already. Some drips, some gold polka dots. I added some sprinkles to those frosting turrets. It was kind of difficult because they're very curvy, so the sprinkles look a little bit odd because they're like wrapping around the curves when the sprinkles really shouldn't be doing that. Added some final details and oh, ew, the old one looks so gray. <laughs> Here is the new castle completely transformed. The Donut Queen is quite satisfied with her new castle and of course that's all that matters. If I am to give my personal opinion as the, the peasant that I am, I think it came out pretty nice, although I wish I had been able to make that giant donut thing work somehow. Finally, we have the cupcake house. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the color combination on this one, but hopefully I can spruce things up no problem. Also, there's this, this weird thing. I have no clue what that's supposed to be. I really don't like it. I had been having so much fun designing houses for my character, so let's keep a good thing going. I see this as a warm little cottage for a family. And what better dessert family is there than Shelly, Eustace, and Derek? How would you all like to live here? Huh? Is it good? Problem number one is this thing, and I have my solution right here. <laughs> Oh no, it's the demon clay again. Yes, I'm trying with the clay again, but this time I'm doing something super simple. I'm just trying to cover this unknown object with a cherry and adding a cute little stem. This one is now gonna have to dry for a few days and oh boy, look at that, it's coming back all brand new. So let's get painting. Once again, starting with vanilla cake on the bottom. It's somewhat similar of a color to the original, but I think it's just a little bit nicer and softer. Now I started with chocolate on 
on one side, which is the color of Eustace's skin. And then I went with pink on the other side, which is the color of Shelly's skin. But then I realized, where am I gonna put Eustace's mint chocolate chip and Shelly's sprinkles? It can't be Eustace and Shelly without Eustace's mint chocolate chip and Shelly's sprinkles. So I ended up adding a white layer in between, which I then turned into green for the mint chocolate chip. Oh boy, it's quite chaotic. chaotic. Uh, so I cleaned that up and it's still quite chaotic. What I should have done was split the entire cupcake right down the middle, made one half Eustace and the other half Shelly. But hey, you know, I always realize these things after the fact. I painted the door brown, which I kind of hate, but the only other door color I thought would work would be pink. And I already did a pink door. Then I painted in these little crisscross designs. It's looking very similar to the stacked cat house now. Oh no. But it's going to get even worse because I couldn't deal with it. And I changed the door to pink. Oh boy. Currently, this house is not looking a lot like Shelly and Eustace, but hopefully after I add in some of the details, we'll be more on track. Also, this cupcake has these annoying little hearts sticking out of it. I really didn't want those to exist, but I have no clue how I could have removed them. So I just painted over everything and pretended like they don't exist. And now my house has heart-shaped pimples, but that's fine. It's all done now. Here is the final look. And you know what? I liked this one a whole lot better before I looked at all this footage and I realized I could have made it better. It does still go with Shelly and Eustace and Derek by default, but I feel like it does have too much of the tan color and it's too similar to the cat house. It's not quite a disaster, but I do have some low-key regrets about how I did this. Anyway, here are my three mini houses all together. You can really see now the Soul Sisters. Basically, they're the same thing, but hey, you know what? They all really do look cute together, so maybe it's no big deal. I do have a few more of these, so maybe I should just design a whole village for my characters. I'm I'm down if you guys are. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.